Hey everybody, welcome back to our neck of the woods. It's Friday, July 3rd, the uh, day before the holiday. Everybody's on their way right now to come and help out and finish setting up any forms that we need to reinforce, checking all the rebar ties, uh, putting in the rest of the uh, J loops, and uh, after that we should be ready for about noon uh, that the concrete and pumper truck should show up. So today's going to be an exciting one, maybe another long hot day. Hopefully it doesn't take too long to pour uh, the concrete. Uh, I ordered 21 yards total. Uh, with a pumper truck, it shouldn't take that long. It should actually go pretty quickly. And setup time, uh, we ordered a 3,000 PSI uh, footer pour, and it's a 6-inch slump. So it's not on the thin side. It's not on the thick side. It's kind of right in the middle. So uh, setup should only take an hour, well, a couple hours. Um, but we should have plenty of work time to get the rest of the J loops uh, put down into the footer without having to secure them first. Uh, but we should be out of here hopefully by, I would say two or three, uh, right before the sun gets at its absolute worst right overhead and is absolutely the hottest. But uh, we should get going here and uh, we'll try and get as much footage as we can. So stick around and I hope you enjoy.
So you can see at the speed at which the pumper truck is going, uh, probably was a little fast, but can't really blame the guy. It's Friday afternoon. Uh, the 4th of July is tomorrow, so probably everyone wanted to get out of there. But this entire pour for 22 yards it ended up being actually only took about an hour and a half. So it goes pretty quick if you need it to. If you notice, there's no forms against that dirt wall, which is okay. The dirt wall just basically acts as a form, and you can do that whenever you get too close. We were cutting it pretty close for, to 25 inches, and it's actually over 25 inches here uh, since there's no inch and a half form here. But again, that's okay because it's easier just to use the wall instead of having to put in stakes and then remove them later, which would pretty much be impossible. So if you've got a dirt wall to act as a uh, footer form, uh, go ahead and use it. Will, the engineer, had these marked out at 25 inches wide again and 8 inches thick. Uh, we could have just used 2 by 8s which would have been 7.5 inches, and we could have just raised them up a half of an inch. But I decided to kind of over-engineer it a little bit, spend a little bit more concrete, get a little bit more strength. Uh, we bought 2 by 10s so these are actually 9.5 inches thick. So we spent a little bit more on concrete again, and there's some spots where you can see the concrete shooting out, so we gained even more. Some spots, maybe even 10 or 11 inches. So this should be one heck of a footer. Uh, for pretty much the rest of the time for an ICF house, which they again should last forever So I'm happy to spend a little bit more to get that extra strength for the long term <laughs> Get out of here. Go on, buddy. He's not focused. Anyways, we got to get him out of here. We got to airlift him to the ditch. Look, little guy. Welcome back, everybody. It's next morning. Looks like the concrete should be hardened. 
at least enough to walk on. We can probably start removing some forms, but it is July 4th, so we're probably not gonna do anything today. Uh, now that it's a little harder, we'll probably go ahead and stand up some of these rebars to get them all in line since they do tend to bend. Uh, I've got a few more of these braces to remove, but other than that, it looks like it was a complete successful pour yesterday. Nothing blew out. We ended up actually, now that I looked at everything, we ended up actually with 23 yards. Uh, this section over in here got a little low where we even had to backfill some dirt. So we definitely went down, oh gosh, I would say there was at least another six inches. So there's at least 15 inches of concrete now, 25 inches thick. Uh, back there for the garage wall, which the garage wall doesn't even have a uh, uh, ICF upper on it. We're going to do traditional wood frame, uh, stick frame for the garage, but we're going to insulate the crap out of it. Uh, I think we're going to use uh, two by eights since the garage wall is actually going to be from up here where the ICF stop. The garage wall is actually going to be 12 foot tall. So to run a two by four or a two by six, 12 feet high, I think it's a little, uh, may not work out too well. So we'll probably go ahead and, like I said, use two by eights. But we can definitely, definitely stand on it. She is definitely hard. We did our best to smooth it out. I don't know why this white happens. If you say in the comments, it's almost like calcium leaks out or something. A few spots that we didn't get to over in here, but. This is all gonna be uh, on the inside foundation that foam is gonna sit on, and then the interior concrete is gonna sit on uh, where the house is, but this is the garage actually, so most of these spots you'll never even see. This is all just gonna be backfilled with stone, and then uh, dirt, and then the garage floor. So, wasn't too focused on getting the garage stem walls, or footers really smooth and looking proper. But everything over here, I spent a lot of time on it. My dad spent a lot of time on it. And even Randall went through a couple times. Uh, and we just smoothed all this out to get this absolutely as smooth as possible. But you can see like in here is just baby smooth. So I guess this week I'm going to take some time off again. Spend some time with the family on the 4th. Get back at it maybe Tuesday or Wednesday. Let these harden up a little bit. Get a sledgehammer in here and just start ripping all these forms off. My buddy actually wants the wood, so that kind of works out. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, comment, and we will see you on the next time when we break these down and we start building some ICF walls.